everybody and welcome to our Let's Boot YouTube channel. So today I'm going to show you how to start with Angular Material and Flex Layout to design your Angular application. So first step, I'm going to generate a new Angular project in my code repository. Once it's done, you go inside your project and you run your server. Then you can open your project in your favorite editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code. So in this internal terminal, I will install the three big packages I need from Angular Material and then Flex Layout. So I install Angular Material, Angular CDK and Angular Animation. When it's done, you can go in your source repository the app and then open the app module.ts file. There I will import the browser animations module I need and do not forget to add it here in the imports of ng module. If you want to use icons, you need to add in the indexed HTML file a link tag right here with this H reference to the Google APIs for material icons. And the final thing you need to do is in the styles.css, if you want to use Angular theme, Angular material theme, you need here to import the default theme. So here I need to change the little quote. That's it. And now I can install the flex layout package. So I go back to my terminal and I run this npm install command. You can go back to your app module TS and import the flex layout module and as usual, add it to your imports. So I haven't imported the math modules yet. I will do it a bit after when I started coding in my HTML file. So after all this installation, I advise you to check your browser and make sure that your application is running correctly. So yes, it works for me. I have my app running. So now let's go back to my Material Flex project. I'm in the app component HTML. I will remove here all the links I don't want to keep. I will also remove the Angular logo. Sorry about that, Angular. And then I will, uh, just under the title, I want a toolbar with links. Here, I'm gonna import the mat toolbar module. Don't forget here to add it to the ng modules import. Save it. You can see I have my title and then my toolbar with my three links. One to Angular Material, Flex Layout, and Let's Boot. It is a raw toolbar, as you can see, and that's why I use this matte toolbar row tag. But if you don't want this link one under another, you can just remove this matte toolbar and have your A tag or your span tag one after another. So now let's go to the main subject to create a photo gallery. So I'm going to show you two examples, one very simple with flex layout directives and another one where I use mat cards. So for my first example, I will show you the code for a very simple photo gallery. So here you can see I have a first main div with a class container here where I will add some special CSS and all the FX layout directives. These FX layout directives are link, always linked to the container. So here my flex layout means that with big screens or middle screens, I will display my pictures in a row. Then with this little option, access means with small screen, I want to display my photos in a column. Then I wrap everything. I can use this FX layout gap to have a gap between my photos and a line center. Then here you can see I have my image. I wrap each image with a div and this FX flex directive. So the space of each image will be only 20% of the width of the screen. And here in my image tag, I added the matte card image 
element here. This is only one row of photos. I'm going to duplicate this to have eight photos and to show you how it is displayed when I change the size of my screen. So here we have a simple gallery with here eight photos. And if I change the size of my screen, you will be that it's totally responsive thanks to this flex layout. So here now I have my flex layout in column. And then it goes in rows again. So this is the first way to create a very simple photo gallery. Now let's go to the second example. So first here you can see that for my little search bar, search form, I use the mat form field element. And inside this tag, you will add an input using this mat input element. And of course, each time, let's check that, you need to import the related modules. Here I have my mat form field and the mat input module. And then for the button, of course, you can also customize them with the matte button module. And here I use the element matte raise button with the color primary. Then here I have my little photo gallery. So always I have my container divs here with all my flex layout directive, the same as before. Then I have here a matte card. This is where I have my for loop where I can loop into my photo array. And then I have two elements inside the card. I have the matte card title here with the picture title and I added two different icons. You can see you just need to add the mats icon module in your app module.ts and then you can use this matte icon tag. And the second element is my image. And as before, I have this smart card image element. And here I link to the picture image. Et voilà, you have here a search bar. So it's not active. I can show you in another tutorial how to implement a search bar if you want. But here I have a nice field and you can do that for all kind of form using this mat field element. Here you have this matte raise button, which is blue in the background and the matte button will be white and the text will be blue. And here I have my card. So as you can see here, we have a nice card, the image in the center and I have my photo title and the matte icon mod edit and delete. And when I reduce the size of my screen, you can see that we'll still have this row displayed picture one after another. So of course you can play with CSS to add some space also between the section of your page. But here it's just a quick start to know how to start with angular material and flex layout. So thank you so much for watching. You can go on medium.com slash let's boot for our medium article. I will link down below the link to this medium article and you can go to our let's boot page to have more of angular tutorial. See you next time.